All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Positronics, or probably Positron X. It's a FPS roguelike, which, uh, if you've never seen my channel before, I'm a huge fan of roguelikes, obviously, but FPS roguelikes are my jam. So let's see how this one goes. It looks snazzy, uh, also possibly confusing. So we have Softcore, Extra life for each finished stage, up to 5 max, less experience. So we've got a bunch of mutators that I can turn on, easy, medium, hard, less experience. Okay, so I level up, sort of? So we have Positron, Proton, Electron, okay, well I'm stuck with this, so I'm just gonna go with this for now. Okay, welcome to Positron X, it's an active development, working hard on adding stuff. Consists of 5 stages, first two being available now. I have to play through to finish the game. I have a number of combat areas you need to clear. There's a boss in each area you have to complete to go on to the next stage. Got it! Okay, so jump movement character. Character is C. Core assembler is B. No, H. Character. Oh, help. Help is H. Core assembler is B. Jump. Got it. Select weapons. Usability is Q. Echo. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Many types of items you can pick up. All these help your character and become better. Got it. This looks very Unreal Engine. I th yeah, this is most definitely Unreal Engine. Just the lighting, the the visual effects and whatnot. Actually kind of reminds me of... Uh... I. I don't know where I'm going. I guess we're just playing now. Okay, thank you. Left and right mouse button. Secondary mode requires a bit more strategy. Now, do I have to worry about, uh... Okay, so we do have a... Guy back there. Core fragments are a special type of pickup that's always left behind by a dying enemy. Game is currency. Upgrade your equipment from the core collector. Got it. Okay, did I pick it up? I did. So if I just keep jumping around like a madman... I mean, it seems like these guys have kind of... Significantly, uh, in out. These guys have impaired aim to begin with. Can I shut this thing off? Not with that. Maybe I shoot this? No. Oh. Maybe it's this? No. How do I... I guess I just go around it? I am generally confused by what's going on. Yeah, there's, there's kind of like a, a no ammo. Uh-oh. How do I reload? How do I... How do I do anything? Okay, it's time to panic. I see... Okay. Oh, I have I have an implant that I can use, I guess. Well, I can wave my hands at things. Ow. Oh! There's a melee! There's a melee button! I can smack people with my... With my... Oh, I've got some ammo. Ow. Yeah, note to self, don't get cornered by these suckers. Yep, still can't do anything with that. Alright, I get some I get some ammo, I'm pretty wounded. Uh-huh. Yeah, ammo management is going to be kind of rough. Challenge failed! What challenge? What did I fail? The only shoot enemies with bullets challenge. Oh, that's a that's a big ammo ammo kit thing. So that's that's what those are. Let me keep looking around. Is this anything? No, that's just a enemy part. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Well, can I character pistol implants weaken damage is more disruptive on targeted enemy. For a finite period of time. Gotcha. I don't have any upgrades I can do here. Apparently I can jam quite a lot of upgrades on the base pistol. Oh, you're not supposed to take more than 100 damage, Wander. Oh, whatever will I do? I'm just gonna run around pistol smacking people. It works pretty well. 
Yeah, there's a lot of visual noise. There's there's a lot of detail that goes into this game, which gets kind of muddy as you run around. I'm not sure if it's really a, a complaint or just a, like, that's how games that look like this work. I don't know. Well, whatever. How much is this game? Hell if I know. This game is not even out. There's not even an ETA on when this game is coming out or an ETA on a release date for this game. I know so very little about this game at all uh that all i know is they handed they they sent me a copy and were like hey teleporters are special devices that help you travel to rooms you've already cleared gotcha we do have a map that i can go through hmm. ow okay exit area we can cool down duration minus one second huh Neat. How do I get out of here? Can I can I mantle? Oh, I can just climb walls. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Well, now that we have the map on, is this is this the exit? Oh. No. So there's a teleporter there. You can actually see on the map the different room chunks. Oh, I like that. Okay. So shotgun, heal, or pistol. I'm gonna go shotgun. Cause I need a gun. I I need another another gun. Oh! These are bombs! I am dead. Okay, we have unlocked immovable. And I leveled up. Uh does leveling up do anything for me? Stage. It's probably just un unlocks. Extra layer. Immune to damage received from hostile environment. Gotcha. Well, sure. I'll keep messing around with, with this. We'll figure out how it goes. What is this thing? I don't even know. We got an imprint for a counterflux, whatever that means. Okay, well, we don't have any enemies, so I guess I'm just going to go over here. Yeah, this is much more of a, like, uh... Ow! Ow! What the? No. What? Why? What is happening? Ow. There's one. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a gravity ball. Good. Uh, a very, very great. I am in trouble. At least I'm immune to environment damage. That's a plus. Oh, those are bomb bots. Those are little bomb bomb shell rollers. They're very hard to see through all of the uh, sh schmutz. Ow! And I don't go faster than them. I don't have a a a sprint button. I have a. What the hell was that? How did I fly? I have a lot of confusions. Did I step on lava and I I flew? I am confused. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I have a double jump that I can... I, I have a double jump that I can do, which I should probably start lev leveraging more often. Um, yeah, the movement seems pretty good in this game. Uh, I think part of... A, Part of my, uh, difficulty is just this really is, like, a much more, like, focused, uh, FPS roguelike. Oh, I really like that float. We can affect a target's plus one. Do we have any other HP pickups just floating around over here? No? I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, hey! Yield us to full. Awesome. Actually, I really like the movement. I'm kind of surprised that there's not more verticality. Okay, so mini rocket launcher. Hopefully there's no self-harm. And thank you for the resub, Death. Okay. Yeah, this has the really nice floaty jumps that I really enjoy. Core assembler. This room is where the core assembler resides. 
can be accessed by walking into it or pressing B at any time from any of the other rooms. Okay. Well, or assembler not located yet. Well, that'd be this, yeah? Okay, so I can spend just core fragments to upgrade my, my pistol, my flare gun. Where's that buying one? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, can I just press B now? Okay, so I can just kind of use this whenever. Well, I think I'm too poor to afford any of these. Refresh. Reset. Yeah, so it looks like we're we're stuck with this for a little while at least. I like the gun design. It's cool. Okay, I think I I think I am susceptible to self-harm. Holy shit, those projectiles are slow. I move faster than those projectiles. Okay, I'm just gonna high flying this one. It seems like it might work better if I if I'm doing my usual zippy tower of guns nonsense. Even if it's not immediately the most helpful. Okay, so we're back up to full health. But don't get too risky. Really, if we don't get assaulted by bomb bots, we're okay. Shoot the ground, dang it! There we go. Hello, what is this? Oh, some more rockets. And imprinting acquired uh, increases the explosion range for the uh, for the rocket launcher. Let's see. Do we have anything else hiding around here? Yeah, we do. A lot of rocket launcher ammo. Looks like I only get ammo for one, not both. Okay, well, I'm only up to 165 core. Okay, well, this shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, let's see. Primary attack burst shots, attack speed, or attack damage on the pistol. Let's go with that. I'm probably going to run out of rocket launcher ammo. Ah. I didn't even see it through all the schmutz. Special effects are going to make this extra difficult. See, I'm not susceptible to fire damage on the ground, at least with this character. Who knows about the other ones? Okay, so we've got plenty of health pickups all over the place. That's a good sign, at least. Anything else? Nope. I'm just going to keep wandering around. None of this is a good idea. Various bonuses regarding loot chance. Attack speed... Great hit and run weapon. I'm gonna go loot, I think. Ow. Ow. I'm just... These guys take so long to kill. Am I out of... Am I out of shots with both guns? No. Okay, I've, I've got a bunch of rockets left. That's good. What's making that weird horror noise that I keep hearing? I didn't really take that much damage from this. I get... There's not a whole lot of feeling of hits in this game. I, I, I just get hit, I guess. some pistol ammo. I did not expect ammo management. Oh, come on. To be as big of an issue. I wish these rockets were bigger. They kind of like to just sail straight past enemies. That's going to be a problem. Okay, I'm still picking up ammo for my, my other attacks. How do I do this? Nope. Because, yeah, this laser barricade 
it it's not exactly what I call passable. I guess I can just kind of go over it on this side. Okay, this this helps. Uh, anything else in there? No, it doesn't look like it. Over there. Pretty empty. Yeah, for how small these rockets are, they need to be much, much smaller. Or, not much, much larger. Uh, they need, either need to be faster or bigger. Either. Now, are we, are we getting upgrades here? Like, do these get upgraded every single time? Rank? Oh! So, rank increases once we've installed a certain number of upgrades. So, I just keep getting random upgrades for this. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not buying them, they're just ar arriving-ish. I like that. Okay. Killing spree rewards. Man, I barely even use those. Alright, uh, let's, let's just teleport. Back to this room? Cool. Uh, let's see. Afflicted targets, primary attack damage, or extra loot chance, 1%. Let's keep buffing up, up that pistol. But yeah, I like the uh, persistent upgrade system with the guns. Once you get enough upgrades, upgrades for them, uh, they're just... Uh, you will always get that number of upgrades. I like that. I think that's the first time I've scored a d direct hit with the rocket launcher anyway. Ow. And what is even shooting me as I go by? Hard to say. Doesn't help that the reticle is this tiny, tiny thing. Okay, Heavy Enforcer rank 1. Ow! And there goes my pistol. How do we get from side to side over there? Down below, it looks like. Oh, good. These seem to be... Yeah, why are they the ones with the... Why are they the ones with the fast rockets? Okay, there we go. Not taking too much. Let's see if I use the secondary attack yet. Uh, you know, I've used it on one, but not the other. I should... I believe the secondary attack... I don't know what the secondary attack on the uh, rocket does. It seems to kind of do whatever it wants. What? Ow. Oh, don't stand on that because apparently you get set on fire. Huh. News to me. Let's see, what else do we have over here? A little bit of HP. Doesn't look like there's anything amazing in there. Dang it. I'm gonna crest this and he's immediately gonna shoot me in the face because he knows where I am at all times. Screw it. Okay, rocket launcher, secondary attack damage up. Oh, I'll take it. I don't really get much of a choice. Uh, let's see here. Probably. Okay, I could get the flare gun, melee damage, secondary attack damage. Let's grab the flare gun. Having a third gun will help abate some of my ammo issues. This is the flare gun, apparently. Okay. So that's what that does. Ow. I'm getting just stuck on whatever. I'm trying to even just hit this guy with these rockets, but they do not fly anywhere. 
And it really pisses me off. I'll aim at the floor and it'll just go straight past the floor. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure why it does that. If it's me or something with the uh, ammo, ammo? Uh, rocket launcher set up, but I'll like aim at the, the guy's feet and it'll just keep kind of going. Maybe if like, maybe the rockets have like a bit of a... Uh, maybe the rockets have like a bit of a, a variation on where they go. Ish. Now that's probably the boss fight, so I probably should leave it alone. Do I have anything down here? What is this? Oh, it's a teleporter. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking the level design. I think mainly my my big gripe is just the uh, the rocket launcher feels weird. Okay, more loot bonus, more primary attack damage. So let's done the movement of the targeted targeted uh, targeted enemy. And, you know, I'm going to go with that. Okay. Uh, I've got some stuff, by the way. Reduces fire explosion and laser damage. Slow down. Already got that. Local shield. No. Fragment polarization seems really helpful. Uh, increases health regeneration limit by 20% and regenerates health. That sounds really helpful. And then I'm going to do extra damage on Weaken. Okay. I've pretty much just got a panic. Why? You killed yourself! How, how small is the AoE on that rocket launcher? I shot right into the middle of the group and it only killed one! Uh, well, okay, I've unlocked some new things, at the very least, but... That was... Dismal-ish. Okay, let's check character. So, pistol is only rank... Oh, jeez, it's gonna take a while to rank this thing up. Okay, hey, we got the uh, core assembler already. Oh, I have to go interact with the thing. Okay, so we have stability, replenish. That's not bad. Refresh is really good, which, oh, already comes installed. Shotgun, cool. Yeah, I like the idea of the rocket launcher, but I would much prefer something with, like, more boom. More boom, uh, more threat to myself. <laughs> I guess I ran near an explosive barrel! Whee! Alright, yeah, time to get that our rest in peace gauge up. Oh, come on! Walk out the first door and immediately get shot in the face. That's a little mean. Oh, it's you. He was in the lava. He was underneath the level shooting at me. And I couldn't jump, apparently. I thought it was immune to environmental damage. I, I guess not. I thought that was this character's, uh... I'm now level four. Great. Oh, this is not a door I can go through. Okay. Yeah, the one the one grump I'm looking at is these enemies are small. And this cursor, like the targeting reticle is insanely small. And the enemy uh AI, okay. So stay away from some barrels. I guess they can't explode. He's just up there. Yeah, uh, enemy AI is definitely going to going to be a, a 
grump for me as we go along. Uh, just because... Who is even... Okay. Getting not... No. Are you... You're kidding me, right? So I am completely vulnerable to walking in lava, but the enemies can freely just walk around in it. They have such small hitboxes, too. And, like, I honestly can't see my cursor in some cases. And, of course, there's no, uh... There's no... Loot magnetism, so anything that drops in the, uh... The lava is, is gone to me. Okay. I like the idea of the lava setup, but the execution, maybe not. Come on. Introduce a little bit of a lunge with this this swing. Because there's knockback on gun strikes, but yeah, I can't get those. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit... Uh... I'm going to be a little bit uh, grumple at this game as we go along. The developers uh, specifically wanted my feedback on this. There's some really good ideas. I just... Um, the feel... Makes me grump. I'm confused about this whole health regen thing. Okay, I want to run away from Rocket Man. I'm out of, almost out of juice. Oh, good. Now I'm out of ammo. There we go. I was aiming for this red barrel, but I guess it's not the explosive kind. Okay, so how does health regen work? Okay, so I got Mega Spree, Flawless Execution. I don't know. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm doing okay. It would be nice, actually, if you automatically always had a secondary weapon that wasn't just hit them with your, uh, your pistol. It would be kind of rad if there was a, uh, you know, just a, a pike or a sword that you could use. Is there any reason to come down here? Not really. At least I got some bullets from my pistol. Hey, thank you, Kijikun, for the uh, for the sub. So max health or regeneration rate? I'm gonna keep trying to get health regen. I'm I'm not actually sure if I regenerate health period or if it's like a threshold. Oh, good. There's a bumper bot. Okay. Yeah, for how thin some of these enemies are. Their hitbot, uh, th their shields are dirty. I think these guys have flare guns. So if I shoot him in the pistol. Okay, stay away from the explodey barrel. We know what happens with that. There we go. No ammo, but I'm doing okay. Yeah, I don't think the re regeneration takes an effect. What was that? I don't know. They're just concerning noises here and there. Okay. There's something, there's something down below. Two guys with a shotgun, one guy with a shotgun. Oh, 
Oh, that's what's going on. I was wondering about this. Well, that's stupid. This is stupid. At least the uh, perk flies out of there. There we go. Okay, primary attack damage plus two. Good stuff. I have, like, no ammo, and of course all of my collectibles are down there. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, I, I don't feel like enemies uh, should be immune to lava. Maybe they could take reduced damage from the environment. I know the AI isn't advanced enough to, like, really avoid environmental hazards yet. But it is producing some, like, really awkward encounters because the enemies are just standing around in lava. You know, completely unfazed, and then waiting for me to show up, so I have to, like... Find a really awkward spot to shoot them, and since half the enemies are orange, it's kind of hard to see them. I don't know. Okay. So let's see. Uh, back here. So do we want the flare gun? It's not bad. Otherwise, I could go pistol. No, I should go flare gun. Uh... Increasing my melee damage wouldn't be bad, but having a second gun that I can switch between is good. Yeah, Halo style roguelike. I guess you could kind of call this Halo-y. Well, I'm getting a little bit better at shooting, guys. It does kind of feel like... You know what this game reminds me of? Reminds me of Strafe. That old school style roguelike where the enemies see you and immediately just start beelining for you. Yeah! Fragment, multi fragment multiplier. Yeah, okay. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. If I could have, like, a grenade power, that'd be lovely. This is legitimately difficult to hit some of these guys sometimes. They're very small. I mean, I'm doing actually fine, but... Oof. Now, sounds like there's somebody directly below me. S multiple somebodies. Uh. Ricochet count on the pistol. I'm liking the sound of these upgrades, though. Some of them sound actually pretty helpful. Okay, oh, Core Assembler hasn't been located yet. What? Really? So the flare gun does a uh, mild DPS. That's cool. Secondary attack speed up. Uh, let's see. Wait. Click on in implant slots to select. Oh, so I can switch them around. Okay, that works. Let's keep looking around. There's There's got to be more to this. There's a door there. Teleporter there. Nothing over here? Nothing. Yeah, I guess we haven't found the uh, core assembler yet. I was hoping for a power up. There's this, though. Ooh. So I think I also got a, a Fragment Multiplier. Ricochet count increases chance to dodge enemy uh, enemy attacks. I'm going to go blur. The Ricochet count sounds kind of fun, but I don't really know if it's that helpful. Hey, Core Assembler, finally. I've actually got some bits to spend. Okay, so I could get Agility, Run Speed, and Jump Power. Bonuses regarding Loot. Or a shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun seems like a good idea. I'm gonna get the shotgun for now.
holds a fair amount of shots, and we can get the other stuff later. Okay. I will admit, shotgun feels very weak. I think it has to do with the fact that... Ah, oh, damn, I can't see my own targeting reticle. Okay. Um... Yeah, the shotgun does not feel very punchy. It, it's because I keep finding these um, these damage upgrades for the for the shotgun, or no, for the pistol, which is why the pistol feels like it does so much. Okay, so flare gun, melee damage up. Oh. I mean, I'm doing fine. It's just one of those where it's like, usually when you aim a shotgun at an enemy, you're like, yeah, they're gonna die. And then they don't, and you're like, oh, oh, this is one of those shotguns. But no, it's because this game has uh, an upgrade system. I actually would prefer it if they, they nixed some of the upgrades, like specifically primary and secondary damage, and had that tied to the character that themselves, and had more like weapon-specific mods that dropped less often. Maybe. Okay, anyway, secondary attack damage with the shotgun? Because I don't want the melee attack damage. Okay, and I got 404 core. Oh. Jesus. It's getting messy. Ow. See, Wanderer has perfect aim. You try aiming when you can't even see your reticle. I'm practically no scoping this. Yeah, some more pistol, uh, melee attack damage wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly. Okay, do we have anything else around here? Nope, not really. I'd almost actually love to see the, uh, the health system and the, uh, the health system in general and, uh, the HP drops go away. Or hybridize, like, um, I think, th I think this game kind of wants you to have fast place gameplay. But because of the limited HP system, it feels like it it uh, rewards super cautious play more so than than like running and gutting. Ish. Okay, secondary stick duration. It'd be interesting if it adopted like a Halo One style where you could uh, uh, a Halo One style where you had like a shield bar but also maximum HP, so like a little bit of reg regenerable health, so you can kind of a synthetic, I guess, was the other game that had kind of a, a similar similar version. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. So what do I have? I could get agility, or I could get loot. Or I could just get some more pistol damage. I'm just going to keep putting weapon mods on. Part of it is, uh... The more weapon mods I can get, uh... The more... The closer I get to ranking this thing up. Because I'd love to rank up the pistol. Like, permanently. Because then it just gets 29 free. Okay, uh, let's see. We don't, we don't have any levels left. So I actually, it's time for me to go fight a boss. I'm not ready for this. Okay, so tech damage tick. Yeah. Because I can't get the rocket launcher, and I don't like the rocket launcher anyway. Oh, 
Okay. Is it just me or is this guy actually easier than regular enemies? Because I can avoid him. Okay. Oh no. Never mind. That got a bit dodgier. I see. There's some health. There's some ammo. Beautiful stuff. I don't know if I take his shields down or if he takes his shields down. It looks like he takes his shields down. Well, that's okay. And yeah, the shotgun is genuinely... Wow, I'm gonna finish this fight with uh, full health. Hopefully I get a triple jump at some point. That would be nice. There we go. Ow! What? I'm not sure what that was. Well, I got a lot of things, so I leveled up, a bunch of core fragments, clean streak, I didn't even know what clean streak is, super clean streak, uh, flare gun, extra stuff, shotgun, weaken, you know, I don't use weaken enough. Pistol ricochet count. Uh, sh shotgun, extra projectiles, cool. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. That was fun, actually. The boss fight felt really good. Uh, the arena wasn't bad. This freaking corner next to the teleporter, though. This thing is downright evil. It'd be nice to see some verticality added to these. The fact that we already have the ability to climb walls and double jump almost begs for it. Like, I'd love to see some bigger, more open rooms. I understand the level design doesn't quite allow for that, but it'd be so much cooler... Anyway, okay. So I got a bunch of core fragments. Let's buy what I can. Let's see. And do I get loot or do I get agility? Let's do agility. That's the last of my implants. Nope, never mind. I guess I can get another one. Either way, that should increase my jump height and whatnot. Seems reasonable. Where do I go next? Here? Next stage. Okay, blur, dodge attacks ground, melee damage, or knockback force. Let's do blur, dodge attacks ground. Yeah, I love the visual style they went with for this game. Like, there's a lot of really cool, uh, okay. Oh. Oh, shit. So, no EXP. These guys all have shotguns. Well, that's okay. They barely do damage, I guess. This is wackadoo. But I guess we got it. Alright. Uh, weaken cooldown reduction. I really don't like weaken. As soon as we unlock another character, I'm probably going to switch to it. I It's useful, but none of the enemy... Either the enemies last too long for it to really be justified, or too short-ish, maybe? I don't know. Act Assembler. Pistol. More damage. It really wants me to use this pistol. Oh, that's okay. Congrats to Hypnologic, Natasok, Lexington David, Serathos, uh, Prophet RM2, and Doom at numbers. One, two, three, three, two, one. There we go. Uh, for uh, Congrats for all the uh, free subs. And thank you, Shadow, for, the, uh, for handing them out. Yeah. 
All right, let's let's keep rolling. I'm actually really enjoying this. I was a bit crumple. I was definitely a bit crumple, but I'm liking it more. Primary attack speed, secondary... Well, primary attack speed. I don't know if I can grab any more upgrades, and I don't want to mess with it too much. So back to shotgun, probably, if we're up against these crabs. I got trapped. Low health? Already? Shit. How? And I'm dead. Damn. That was fast. Alright, so we get blink. Weaponry. Fatality. First strike. Grenade launcher. Overdrive. Structural disruption. Killing time. Clean install. Proton. Good, we've unlocked a new character. And micro stability. Okay, so that's going to be the uh, the end of the episode. A little bit uh, stilted, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I was about to move on to another run. Possibly this run? I think it might be either this run or the previous run. Uh, this is just footage from, you know, one of the next episodes. So you guys had something new to look at. Even if it will ultimately be uh, old when it comes out. Eh, whatever. Who cares? Anyway. Uh, so, I really like this game. I had a lot of complaints. Uh, there are a lot of issues that I've kind of pointed out. Um, and I'm not saying, I, I don't say those because I, I hate the game. Um, I say them because this is, this is one of those rare series that I do that is so early access, there's not even a release date for this game. Uh, and so, that means the developers are probably watching. They sent this to me, not only for, you know, kind of press coverage, but I assume they wanted some feedback, and so I'm trying to give it as much as possible. So I'll whine about a couple of things, complain about a lot of things. Uh, but overall, despite all of those, I had a lot of fun with this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous FPS roguelike. It's like, um, it's like Everspace. Everspace was absolutely stunningly beautiful, uh, you know, for, for the genre. And you don't get a whole lot of those on the market. And I really like this one. The the gunplay needs work. I, I feel like the guns need to have... They need to be retuned in some way. I keep rec I can keep mentally comparing this game to Halo. Uh, just because, you know, sci-fi shooter, whatever. Uh, that's just... I love Halo. And, you know, it feels like a lot of these things... Th this melee animation, it's pretty Halo-y. Uh, it reminds me of hitting people with the, the shotgun butt, anyway. Um, but... So right now I'm actually doing pretty well. You know, the, the shotgun will take these guys down in a couple of hits. But that's because I've gotten a sufficient number of upgrades. When you first, when I first got the shotgun, I was like, this thing is crap. You know, I, I tried shooting it and it, it barely did any damage. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that your damage is tied to the upgrades that you get at the end of each, at the end of each room. As well as, you know, the ones that you buy and so on and so forth. You can bypass it, you know, kind of scale it up faster by, by meta progression, you know, the more upgrades you get for your, uh, your shotgun, the, uh, eventually the stronger it'll be just from the start, which is good, but I wish it was actually more focused, like, the upgrades that you got at the end of each room was more about, like, uh, neat little unique effects, like, you know, Polyphemus Proptosis from Binding of Isaac, things that actually modify the, how the gun works as opposed to just, you know, basic parameters, and then leveling off all the basic parameters. So if I shoot a guy with a shotgun two or three times, generally they go down, you know, smaller enemies go down in one hit, uh, big tanks, okay, maybe it takes like five. I think that's just my perspective from coming from a more of a traditionalist FPS uh, background, because otherwise you just end up with either the upgrades feeling really boring, you know, plus two damage, uh, plus five percent fire rate, uh, so on and so forth, and, you know, I much prefer to see, you know, interesting, exciting power-ups. It's like, oh, sweet, I got the blank upgrade, that means I can do this now, or, you know, this is going to be a crazy, ridiculous run, and I don't really have that, uh, from any of these power-ups, and so that's, that's why I bring this up. Yeah, right. I mean, there are a couple of power-ups, specifically the slow power-up and the heal power-ups come off as particularly powerful. I wouldn't say that they're they need a nerf necessarily. They definitely do uh, guarantee 
much more success on a run. It's slow specifically. I didn't I don't use the powers that much, but slow is absolutely worth using. Uh I will say uh I hope the uh there's some more like defined special effects for slow and whatnot. Uh if I use slow on an enemy, they just kind of spark a little bit. It's obvious, but I remember specifically for the uh first character's weakness. Uh, it was very difficult to actually tell, is this person being affected? I, I couldn't tell, actually. And that was a bit of an unfortunate thing. Uh, back to the weapons for a little bit more. It did feel like uh, the grenade launchers and the rocket launchers were kind of underwhelming. The AoE was very small, and it was hard to aim with them. Um, I don't really know how it should be done. Uh, but I think it kind of goes back with the the damage upgrades defining, you know, your num your numbers. So it, it just feels kind of unsatisfying to have a rocket launcher that does significantly less damage than my shotgun does. And I know that's, you know, that's what got all the upgrades. But that's, that's why I was kind of uh, talking about, you know, leveling out the upgrades so that the guns actually feel like they're doing the right amount of damage because I'm gonna be honest this grenade launcher here it just doesn't feel like a grenade launcher it just feels like kind of a weird arky firework gun instead it is hard to aim this thing by the way it doesn't even fly at the reticle particularly well it just has a set arc and uh, let's just hope you were arcing it properly uh, let's see so I guess with that, is there anything else? I, I'm trying to run the gamut of every every like major critique I could say. Oh right, the most important part of uh, of this, honestly, uh, the most important part for me, and I've said this a couple of times I think in this video and the next video, the level design I think is the weakest part of this game. Not because this level is bad. I like this level visually; it's impressive. Um, but there's nothing about it that makes makes it interesting. There have been a couple of levels that were a little bit more standout -y, but usually it's barricades and barriers and things to stop you from going places, which is really awkward because the enemies are not limited. They'll just run straight at you regardless of if there's a hazard in the way or if, uh, if there's a low obstacle and they'll just get stuck on it. And that's kind of unfortunate because effectively you either end up getting cornered just because there's an enemy at the door, and so you immediately have to backpedal because you don't want to go outside because, hey, look, there's these rolly, rolly lightning things on the ground. And they're a pain in the butt to hit, and if they, they, if they touch you, they take out your abilities for, you know, their full cooldown and stuff, and it's kind of rough. Um, and I'd, I'd prefer it, actually, I'd much prefer it if the levels were much bigger, more open. You know, this one's got some pretty big ceilings, but there's not really a whole lot of, like, ramps or staircases or anything to utilize the the wall jump or the double jump off of in fact there's nothing you know the the most i generally use any of those is kind of to get around enemies uh get behind them and kind of have more room to maneuver on the other side um and i want to be able to like you know jump over an enemy uh you know run up a ramp jump over some enemies drop a grenade on them and keep going and you know kind of avoid them and right now like if you notice i'm kind of bouncing to get over this small low-hanging wall so i can hit them with grenades. Admittedly, I'm invisible, and therefore invulnerable, because it bugged out, but whatever. Um, but I'd love to see, you know, bounce pads, and and, you know, ramps and staircases in, like, three, four level rooms. You know, rooms rooms that aren't just big squares filled with bins and laser fences, because they're not that fun. They're really cool looking, and they, they get the, the idea that this is a place, but from a game standpoint, it gets kind of dull. Every room eventually becomes the same. The most interesting thing I've run into so far you're looking at is that black hole down there. Uh, which can kill you, by the way. I find that out at the uh, the end of a uh, run coming up. Spoilers, I'm sorry. Um, for anybody wondering about about, I figured I'd spoil it now. Uh, but I think the black hole is actually probably one of the coolest parts of the game. And I almost kind of want them to have more like environmental hazards like that. They kind of screw with you. Like, I want repulsor fields and, like, all sorts of stuff. Uh, obviously, the AI has to be tuned up for it. Because those black hole generators, uh, enemies will just straight up, like, get stuck stuck there and just kind of awkwardly do nothing next to them. 
Can I just say it also looks really cool. I love the visual design. Oh, dude, slow fields and stuff would be amazing. You know, areas maybe where all projectiles are, are slow to a crawl. And so you have to kind of bob and weave through them. Uh, and you know, maybe that's where melee enemies are ex exceptionally dangerous. Just a thought. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point because I really enjoy this game and it's got a lot of potential and I wanted to realize it because if it does kind of capitalize on some of its some of the things it already has this could be a really good game like I'd, I'd put it in the same bin as Tower of Guns, Mother Gunship, uh, Immortal Redneck, Ziggurat, whatever it's already more or less there but it could be even better pretty quick I love the upgrade system for like all the perks and stuff I think that's really strong there's a lot of really, like, solid things about this. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, how do the, de how do the developers uh, take it from here? I don't know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see more than just five stages total. I know, obviously, uh, game development takes time and effort and whatever. Uh, hopefully it does well enough to justify, a, you know, a couple of expansions or something. Because I... I definitely see myself putting in quite a number of hours in this game when it actually fully comes out. So I guess with that, uh, developers, if you guys are watching, thank you so much for sending me this key. I will continue to complain about the game until you tell me to stop, and hopefully it's helpful. I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, I am having a lot of fun with this. I guess uh, for the rest of you, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. I'll try and be lo less long-winded uh, about my outros in the future. It's just this one, you know, I specifically kind of wanted to get the final say in on the first episode. Uh, this probably won't be the official series, by the way. Uh, this will be this will be kind of the, like, beta feedback series something or other, and I'll label it as such. And so when the game fully comes out, hopefully people will know. So if you're watching this and the game is already out on Steam, you're watching the wrong video, go watch my real playthrough. Uh, <laughs> I should probably uh, post that as a warning somewhere else, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I will keep playing this, you know, five to ten episodes, give or take. Uh, feedback based on updates. And, you know, hopefully hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see some neat things come out of, uh, out of the game. Anyway, so like I was saying, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, I'm going to do, like I said, 5 to 10, mostly for feedback and testing. And then as soon as, like, a release candidate is done, then, then the real series will start. Except for that will probably be an early access release candidate testing. So this is probably going to have three series dedicated to it over the while. Plus, maybe it'll show up on the roguelike roulette. Actually, I'd probably do roguelike roulette kind of in the middle. Or the whole time, I don't know. Once I'm done with the, the feedback episodes, I'll throw it on the roulette. Because I think that'll be fun. So, I guess with that out of the way, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Positron X. And as always, thanks for watching.